Now, residents of the Indonesian city hit hardest by last Friday's earthquake and tsunami are growing increasingly desperate for supplies and aid to arrive. Our Lee Sung Jae with the details. Palu, a city of about 380,000 people, at the top of a long narrow bay on the west coast of Sulawesi Island. After a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck the area on Friday, it triggered tsunami waves as high as 6 meters. As of now, the confirmed death toll stands well in excess of 800, and that figure is expected to rise. Rescuers say the number is sure to go higher as they reach remote villages cut off since the disaster struck. Most of the victims have been found under the ruins of collapsed buildings, houses, and hotels, though many are feared buried under landslides. As for the search and rescue mission, we know from what we have seen from the affected area, such as the rubble and collapsed building as a result of the tsunami and the reports from people, that there are relatives still missing. The nation's disaster agency said Monday that more heavy equipment and rescue personnel was needed for the search. Meanwhile, on Monday, a crowd of people flooded the small damaged airport in Palu, hoping for a ticket out of the disaster area. Hundreds of survivors were able to board planes and leave. The earthquake was so powerful, all of us ran out in a big group. We were shouting, people were screaming, God is great. People were repenting. Nearby supermarkets have been cleared out, with reports of people saying they have been looted. However, the government has played down fears of looting, adding the quake victims can take things from shops, as the government will pay compensation later. While there have been no reports of violence, dozens of armed police are guarding the city's banks. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.